Good morning. Would you please stand for the pl pledge? Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we beseech your divine guidance in this meeting. Keep us ever mindful of our obligation. Grant us, dear Lord, wisdom, tolerance, and courage that we may well serve our county and fulfill our trust. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes of May 30th, Commissioner's meeting, as well as that for the public hearing on May 30th. Second. Discussion? Roll? Hambly? Yes. Harrison? Yes. Fletic? Abstain. Okay, next up we have, do we have any public comment regarding pending resolutions for today? If not, we will move on to our resolutions. Andy Conrad, and we have Dan today representing Andy. Morning. Welcome back, Holly. Morning. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I've got five or four resolutions for your consideration today. First resolution is the necessity to close uh, a variety of county roads for road construction projects. The second is accepting and awarding uh, the bid for the 2023 traffic signal upgrade replacement project. Uh, the third resolution is approving the change order number four for the Friendswell Road bridge number eight reconstruction project. And the last is approving the final plat for the Emerald Run subdivision in York Township. Move to approve the uh, four resolutions. Second. Discussion? Roll? Hambly? Yes. Harrison? Yes. Swedek? Thank yes. You. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Next up, we have Jeremy Cinco, sanitary engineer. Uh, Where is, is Jeremy Cinco, sanitary? Okay. Uh, then we will skip him and move on to Holly, human resources director. At least he's not in with Holly. If yeah. Nervous. <laughs> That'd be bad. <laughs> Good, morning. Good morning. On our personal changes resolution, we have two new hires and maintenance, one promotion in sanitary, five in rate increases, three in sanitary, one in maintenance, one in transit, three resignations, one in building, one at office for older adults, and one at the solid waste district, and one retirement at office for older adults. Second resolution is amending the table of organization for the maintenance department. Uh, move to approve the two resolutions. Second. Discussion? Roll? Hambly? Yes. Harrison? Yes. Athletic? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. Okay, Jeremy, we skipped you, but now we will bring you back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's fashionably late. It's okay. All right. Uh, one resolution for consideration today. And that's authorizing the sanitary engineer to enter into an agreement with CT Consultants for professional design services to, pro to provide a topographical base map for the Garmin Road well site. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Roll? Hambly? Yes. Harrison? Yes. Swedek? Yes. Very good. All right. Thank you, Jeremy. Thanks. Thank you. Next up, we have Brett Thomas, our finance director. Good morning, commissioners. Good morning. I have nine resolutions for your consideration today. The first one is amending appropriations and increasing uh, for those that need up to certificates. Um, the second resolution is for transfers of appropriations. The third resolution is a cash transfer from the auto title fund for the clerk of courts, sorry. <coughs> um, this is for the uh, assisting the sheriff for the new shooting range. Mm -hmm. um, the fourth resolution is a transfer of inventory between offices. Uh, JFS transferred a table over <coughs> to the auditors. Uh, the fifth resolution is excess property, um, almost entirely set for disposal. And then we have a uh, vehicle from the prosecutors that is going to auction. Uh, the sixth resolution is expenses for the county engineer for uh, travel and conference. The seventh resolution is for county officials for the uh, auditor's office for a uh, awards dinner. The eighth resolution is for our weekly bills in the amount of $1,438,909.64. As usual, a copy of all bills are kept in the auditor's office 
uh, for anybody's perusal. And then finally, our ninth resolution is a grant agreement for the Community Corrections Grant, known as CCA, for the Medina Municipal Court. All right, move to approve the nine resolutions. Second. Any discussion? Yeah, I, ju I just want to thank uh, uh, Clerk of Courts uh, Dave Wazerth for allowing the surplus funds to be transferred uh, and to assist the uh, sheriff in the shooting range. Yes, that is excellent. Perfect use of the funds. Thank you. Roll. Hambly. Yes. Harrison. Yes. Swedek. Yes. Thank you, Brett. Thank you. Okay, Stephen Sakura from Job and Family Business. He's Job and Family Services Business Administrator. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Good morning. I don't have as many as Brett. Just okay. <laughs> just one. Nobody usually does. So. Yes. So, um, up for consideration today is a resolution authorizing a contract with Connections LLC for job embedded leadership coaching for Medina County Job and Family Services. All right. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Roll. Hambly. Yes. Harrison. Yes. Wedding. Yes. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Okay, we have some department updates. First up, we have Dell, our dog warden. Good morning. Good morning. Um, just a few simple things. Um, last time I talked to you guys, since then, we've, um, of course, did the name change of the animal shelter from Medina County Animal Shelter. Now mm -hmm. we're in Medina County Dog Shelter. New signs, um, they are up. They're in place. They've been up since uh, February of this year. We did one on the building and one out by the road. Um, <coughs> phone system is all up to date. It's in working order. Um, IT still has to set me up a cordless phone, but other than that, all the phones are working order and everything's good. Um, computers, that's all been updated with the um, fiber optic. Um, we have two new hires. I just hired a part-time kennel worker um, in August of last year. I hired a full-time, so I'm up to four people now, <laughs> myself and four, one part-timer. We was down to just the three of us at mm -hmm. one point, so we're doing fairly good on that. Um, last year's placement rate, we did really well again. We were 99.5% placement. Um, we had over 250 dogs, and all was placed with one, and it was a dangerous dog that was a bite dog. Mm. So, um, other than that, everything's gone really well. Are you um, feeling fully staffed with four? We still have a part-time position open for the deputy dog warden, but the problem being that I have the three full-timers if somebody's on vacation or something, mm -hmm. and so once I get that last position filled I, I will feel comfortable and we're doing really good good so Excellent. right now we have enough we're handling everything we're doing calls we're doing strays we're taking care of the shelter we're doing cleaning and all of that so we're, we're managing but one more would be great especially as a part-time so um just like to remind people too if you have a microchip in your dog make sure you register it just because it's put in at a vet's office or somewhere doesn't necessarily mean that it's registered. We run into that a lot, that we get a dog in, it was put in at a certain place, but the owner never registered it. So the best bet is a dog license. Um, mm -hmm. If you have a dog license on your dog, it can be traced in minutes. If you have a microchip, it can be traced if somebody has a scanner to trace it. And a lot of places don't, other than vet's office or shelters. So, mm -hmm. And last, that's... Um, June 2nd of this year was my work anniversary. 37 years Congrats. with the county. Congratulations. <laughs> so, and okay. that's all I have. Super. Very good. Thank, Thank you, Del. Del. Thanks, Del. Next up, we have Kyle White from OSU Extension. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. How's everybody doing today? Good. Good. Very good. Well, we want to thank you. We are here. I'm here with my colleague, Aaron Ruggiero, and um, we want to thank you for um, our newly renovated office. Um, some of you, Sarah, may have seen the article in the Gazette, and I brought a copy if anybody. Thank you, Sarah, and thank you, Aaron, for the interview. So I want to give you a little update. 
Um, we are looking forward to welcoming everyone to an open house um, at our new digs. We are looking at August and September dates, and I'm going to send you some dates for you to tell us whether you're able to come because we want to make sure we recognize our commissioners after all they did for us. Um, just a br brief overview of our new space. Clients are met when they enter the space with a service counter, so um, we're able to serve, serve them right there. There are books, literature uh, available. We have a very large classroom in the back of the building, and we've already held our trauma-informed care class. Aaron and I taught a class, <coughs> um, Met Medina Metropolitan Housing Authority and Cups Cafe um, were our, our students. So we've used the space already, thank you. Um, Parking is free, and there's no people walking around giving tickets. I told <laughs> Commissioner Harrison that. We are, nobody's moving their car. They're like, oh, my alarm went off. Sorry, I got to stop. I got to move my car. It's all good. Everything's great. We like that very much. And there's Thank plenty you. of it. Plenty of it. Yes, yep. sir, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Right a little inconvenience on Route 18 with construction. Oh, yeah, I'm going to address that, that in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's away. coming. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> the office entrance right here was a challenge there for a while. I mean, I I was I think I told you um, Commissioner Harrison or maybe it was Stan I thought I needed a Suzuki or a you know like a major la Land Rover to get over there for a while but we got in we kept going and Good. now it's easily accessible off a of foot road we have a beautiful beautiful driveway so thank you to the county and for whoever put the nice driveway and that was great um, we are very excited about the programming opportunities in our new space because we have a large yard so we can do gardening we can do any number of things with our um, master gardeners we also are looking forward to partnering with our neighbors the um, Hope Recovery Center Kathy's house and the parks and the demo farm so it's a really great location for us um, we are um, hang on here I'm gonna just turn my page Oh, is with any space we are acclimating. So we had all these ideas of how it was going to work, and we're adjusting because it's not exactly, you know, like oh maybe we should move this there or that there. So we are fixing everything so it's the m maximum use of our space, and we should be all adjusted by the time we have our open house. <coughs> Um, we're also for programming we are majorly ramping up for three summer camps that we're going to have with 4-H and we've got folks coming in and out of the building now that's very easily accessible um, talking to our um, ag educator you know they've got a, a bug they've got a plant all kinds of um, discussion there so it's very easily accessible lots of traffic coming in family and consumer sciences Erin has been working um, with her fiscal literacy program real money real world finish that up at the schools for the school year she's got people coming in for your pressure can your pressure canner testing and um, she's still delivering parenting classes a lot of those that is her specialty and working with the senior citizens for senior memory health. Um, I and community development have been very busy working with youth um, and adults with youth workforce development. So um, I'm going to be actually submitting an article for the newsletter we hope can kind of talk a little bit about Teen Fest, where we were very, very present on Saturday. And SNAPED is gearing up for their fall classes and for the summer cook, uh, cooking matters classes with the health department. <coughs> So, um, Are what questions you got? Columbus leaders happy with the space? Oh yeah! Oh okay. yeah! Good. Yeah, all very excited. Okay. Super. Anything so else? We'll look forward to the open house. That's okay. Great. Yes, Super. and again, thank you so much for your generosity. It really was great. Our pleasure. Okay, uh, commissioners' resolutions. Mm -hmm. in the Do I have any? Okay, we don't have any. Public comment. Do we have any public comment today? No one. Okay. Discussion session. Steve, do you want to go first? Do you have anything? No. Not. Aaron, do you have anything? <laughs> I don't think I do. I don't either. Okay. So, Chris? No. Anyone? No? Do you have something? <laughs> Yay. <Okay>. No? <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, I am going to, wow, entertain a motion to go in executive okay. session. Yeah, I'll make a motion to go in executive session t for the purpose to consider the compensation of public employees. Uh, second. Uh, roll. Hambly. Yes. Harrison. Yes. Swedek. Yes. Okay, we will not be back on camera after our dis uh, executive session. So everybody have a great week. Thank you.